Hi everyone, today I will try and finish a couple of paintings that I have at the moment. They are very muted, almost monochrome, faded. There's nothing much going on, uh, just the trees and some texture. And that was the idea, to have very interior-oriented paintings like that are pale and um, kind of um, atmospheric. So I'm going to apply another layer of texture on top of the trees using sponge and palette knife. What I'm going to do is just mix some paint and then obviously tap, uh, get some paint on the sponge or, or on the palette knife and then apply on the canvas. Well, that's not a canvas actually, that's wood. So I'm going to try and finish these paintings today. I have mixed some pale grey colour and now I'm applying it on the previously dry layers by gently dabbing it onto the painting. Then loading the knife in thick paint again and dabbing and dragging the paint loosely, removing some areas with a wet tissue soaked in an odourless thinner. This creates some nice broken colour effect. This is another painting in the same style, and you can see now the paint details close up. I like abstracted quality of these two paintings, pale coloured, calm and simple. I wanted to show you now this painting finished and framed, and just a few words about framing. I frame my paintings myself, I usually buy frames online and then paint them myself if necessary. I think it's really important to get the colours right in the frame, so sometimes I get lucky, like with this painting, it came in um, a quite a nice muted silver that goes really well with this painting, so I'm going to leave it alone just like that. But normally I repaint if the colour isn't right, because framing can really enhance the painting, like it makes it look serious, like a serious uh, piece of art, even if it's not, it's just something that the frame does that makes it look complete and proper. I usually buy bare face wood frames as well, and then paint them in the colour that I like. Bare face wood is usually the frame I go for and with this one, with this floating frame, I'm going to paint the, the side white and silver on the edge. It's going to be, I think, quite nice and I will show you perhaps at the end of this video um, the final result and the painting that this frame was intended for. This frame is an example of repainting. I didn't like the original colour, so I have been overpainting a few times and when I decided to use it for this painting, I brushed a layer of gold over the silver layer. So now it looks warm and goes well with this tropical scenery. I hope you enjoyed this little video and thanks for watching.